Hi YouTube, it's your girl Stephanie. Um, I'm just coming back at you. Today is day six of the liquid diet that I'm doing for the pre-op to the gastric sleeve. Um, it's Sunday, uh, December 28th at about 6.50 in the evening. Um, I worked today. I worked actually the early shift. It was 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So actually it wasn't that difficult, I would say, to manage my hunger. It's actually a little bit harder when I, like I mentioned in my last video, when I worked the 3 to 11 shift, just because that downtime in the evening is when you usually want to be home. It's slower at work. You get the munchies. So today wasn't so bad. So what I had today was um, in the morning, I had to leave the house at 520 in the morning. So I had one of my uh, CVS nutritional shakes. See right here in chocolate like they really recommend you drinking like five shakes a day whether it's slim fast whether it's um uh carnation instant breakfast things like that and i always wondered why um i always wondered why you know they recommend certain things and not others like ensure and nutriment but now i know because while i was comparing um, the calories, 220 calories in this, which is actually pretty good. A lot of these stuff has around that. Um, fat grams was six grams. So I was like, okay, I'm good. I can get the CVS brand and, um, it has nine grams of protein, not as much as like muscle milk or some of the, uh, protein powders, like the whey powders, not as much as that. And the protein is really what fills you up. So, um, I said, let me just get it. You know, I, I can get a couple of them. And I also have the first uh, first step whey protein. I have those and I make uh, smoothies at home with a little spinach and like a banana with a little skim milk. And those are actually really good also. And they hold you. Those have 15 grams of protein. Um, but this one I realized yesterday has 32 grams of carbs and that's not good. Um, so that's something that I really won't have after surgery. And that I had to cut down because I used to sometimes have three a day would mix it in with my whey protein and mix it in with like some chicken broth. But um, I had one this morning because too much carbs and I actually had one right now and I shouldn't have but it was, couldn't be helped. <laughs> so um, I had one of those in this morning in chocolate flavor just kind of to get the nause nausea off. Um, I had gallbladder surgery a couple years ago. They removed my gallbladder and after that I had several other surgeries behind that. So I find now if I don't eat, I get severely nauseous, like salivating about to hurl nauseous. And that's one of my main concerns that I was worried about in the liquid diet. Um, so I had one of those this morning. And then when I got to work, I had, um... Two, literally two green grapes because I know they don't really promote too much of the fruit because of the sugars in it um, so I had two green grapes and then I made my whey protein powder um, shake I have a little mini blender at work so I just plug that in and a scoop of the powder it's French vanilla flavor um, a cup of skim milk and I put a couple um, raspberries in there and I blitz that and I drank that and that really, really held me. And I had that around 8. And then around 12.30, 1 o'clock, I had another one. Same thing, but I, I put a little spinach instead of the fruit. And it was actually really good. Um, and then that's it until I got home. Um, I got home from work around 5 just because they were trying to get me to stay at work and it wasn't happening so I got home from work around five o'clock and I just had a half cup of tomato soup it was fat-free 
sodium free, cholesterol free, all that. And I'm not really sure with this. Um, I read all the instructions and they were saying that, you know, liquids, clear broths, things like that. But I just couldn't eat any chicken broth. So I, the tomato soup had ten, only 10 calories. It had no fat grams. It had like 10 carbs and it had only two grams of protein, which is not high, you know. And, um, but I figured, hey, you know, recommended service size was a cup. I had a half cup. And that just had to do. <laughs> and then I had, um, I would say, um, I had, af after that, some of the green beans that I made yesterday. I just sauteed them in a little bit of garlic and used the natural oils from the garlic because you're really not supposed to add any butter, or any oils and everything you're not supposed to have. So the natural oil from the garlic, I used cooked down, sauteed the green beans and it was actually really good. So I had a cup yesterday and I had the other cup today. So the half cup of the tomato soup and a cup of green beans was my dinner. And um... Afterwards, uh, since that's not high in protein and I knew I would be hungry again soon, I had another one of these CVS Nutritional Shakes in strawberry. You can see it here. So, I don't know if, you know, that was a wise decision, like I said, the carbs, but it really kind of curbed, that 9 grams of protein kind of curbed the hunger that I have. And now I'm just drinking a bottle of water and... I plan on having one more um, of the whey protein shakes later on, maybe around like 9. I'm not really sure because I'm not hungry right now. But just so I can get in my protein because I have to have at least 50 grams of protein. So so I can get that in for the day because I'm a little short on protein right now. Um, I think I have 40. So I just need 10 grams more. So I might make uh, one of that later. Um... And yeah, that's it. So I'm just drinking water right now. I the liquid diet is hard. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna get on here and say it's awesome, it's great, and you know, we'll get through it. It's the long run that counts. You know, I have motivation. People try to motivate me, but it's not the easiest thing to do, especially when you're used to, you know, eating junk. I didn't get this size by eating salads every day. You know, I eat a lot of carbs and um I've worked at my current job for 10 years, so it's a shift job where you're sometimes get off at 11 o'clock at night and you're back the next morning at 7 and you're lack of sleep and you're not home to cook and, you know, you grab a sandwich and bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll and it's easy to make the wrong decisions. And when you have, um, when you're susceptible to gain weight, it's, you know, it's going to, you're going to gain it. So, I'm really, um... It's hard. <laughs> um, the evenings, it's, like I said, it's much easier when I'm home, but the evenings are a challenge. I went downstairs um, when I got home from work. Uh, my mother, she lives downstairs with my sister, and I went down there, kind of say hi, and there were like these cookies, like, you know, the Girl Scout some old cookies, like staring me in the face, and I really wanted one, but I just said no and came to my house since <laughs> I had to put it to the side. Um, tomorrow will be a week since I've been on the liquid diet. I have not weighed myself um, between Tuesday when I started and now. So I don't know if I lost any weight. My pants kind of look a little baggy. I was looking a little bit hobo-ish today. Um, but I don't know if I lost weight. Part of me wants to see and part of me doesn't because I might be disappointed if I didn't lose anything. So we'll see. Um, tomorrow, actually, I probably will know my weight because I have a appointment with my cardiologist. Um, I already got like, you know, you have to get an echocardiogram and things like that. I already got that. So tomorrow is just like the final visit before surgery because usually medical clearances and cardiac clearances have to be within a month of surgery for it to be valid because I had to repeat some of my tests that I did in September because they're telling me now it's not valid for surgery. So, um, he's basically going to give me cardiac clearance tomorrow and they mo most likely will weigh me. So I guess I'll, you know, see what I'm at tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will mark day seven. 
also um after that after tomorrow basically i have to contact my surgical coordinator and make sure they have all the information and the surgery gets approved like i said i have a tentative date for january 6th but if not all my paperwork is in that will get rescheduled so hopefully it won't it won't um oh sorry for the background i am not naked i have on a dress and i'm currently in my bed under the covers because it is chilly i didn't set the heat on a timer so when i came home it was a crisp 60 degrees and i just turned it up because it gets really drafty in the house um yeah so i i want to say that's about it you know um i will i'm gonna be real i probably won't record when i'm in the hospital um during surgery maybe after depending on how you know the surgery goes but um i i have another week basically um I, i'm trying to figure out what else people ask what else i could share i'm 33 i just turned 33 on thanksgiving this year um and i am 5'1 and as i mentioned in my previous video I am 301 pounds or 300 pounds. Um, that's kind of hard for me to admit because I know people that I know will probably be watching my videos and I don't think everybody has ever asked me or I've never shared um, how much I weigh, but yes. So um, that's, yeah, that's, so that's basically about it. Um, I bought some sugar-free jello because you're allowed sugar-free jello up to 30 calories. So one serving is 10 calories. So I could have that three times a day if I wanted. You can also have sugar-free um, ice pops. And I also have that up to 30 calories. So it's not 30 of the jello and 30 of the ice pops. It's 30 combined, however you decide to um, take that in. So I'm going to be having the... Um, I'm not going to make the jello today. I'll probably make it tomorrow when I come home from my doctor's appointment. So I will um, might have an ice pop later if I feel like it. I'm like surprisingly right now. I'm not hungry. I know that if I could, I'd probably eat something because sometimes, you know, with food, that's what you do. You munch, you get bored and you munch. But as of right now, I'm not starving i was earlier and that's why i couldn't stay at work because i would have killed somebody so um i'm gonna go now and thank you guys for watching have a good day bye